वेलकम टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज एंड अदर वीडियो फॉर यू फर्स्टली व्यूअर्स टॉप ऑफिसर्स मिलिट्री कमांडर्स फ्रॉम टेगराय रीजन एंड इथियोपियन नेशनल डिफेंस फोर्स हैव हेल्ड अ टेलीफोनिक कॉन्वर्सेशन वी हैव डिटेल्स फॉर यू सेकंड लेवल ऑफ टेगराय रीजनल गवर्नमेंट्स पब्लिक रिलेशंस ब्यूरो spoke today about peace agreement we were waiting for this statement because uh, since the signing of the peace agreement 48 hours ago tagarians have been questioning the agreement especially tagaran diaspora community that is why we were waiting for this statement uh, is this uh, statement going to satisfy tagare and diaspora does this statement answer the question which are being raised by tagare and uh, most of tagare and diaspora about the peace deal no the statement does not answer key questions we have details for you firstly viewers uh first uh, contact high level contact between tagaray military commanders and ethiopian national defense force uh, military chief is being reported general tedase where they who is uh, tagaray's uh, top military commander and brahan jula endf's uh, top uh, officer ethiopian army chief held uh, a telephonic uh, conversation on friday it is being confirmed by several uh, sources the two agreed on continuing uh, contacts and they uh, talked about meeting as well so there could be a meeting between the two uh officers in coming days if you remember uh when peace agreement was made public uh, and we shared it with you one of the first points uh, of this agreement was that uh, within 24 hours after signing of agreement channel of communication will be opened between military commanders uh, on both sides so it seems that uh, channel of communication has been opened bano jola with tadase varade are in touch some other uh, military commanders uh, would be in touch as well so first point uh, has been uh, implemented second point was that in 5 days after the signing of the agreement modalities will be agreed about a disarmament of tagaray fighters tplf combatants that is what is going on meetings are underway so in coming days there could be some agreement uh, verbal agreement about how uh tplf combatants will be disarmed so far so good that the military commanders are in touch though uh, on the ground uh, don stikes being reported fighting on some fronts uh, in the previous video we reported about a don stike to the north of makele close to wakro and fighting uh, on uh, adwa abadi front and on macho front Uh, i think after these high level contacts gradually things will come under control and gradually cease fire will be implemented so far so good secondly viewers every one from tagaray from tagaray and aspara was waiting for tagaray regional government tplf to speak since the signing of the agreement around 20 around 48 hours ago uh tagare and diaspora community has been calling into question tplf's uh, intentions uh and uh, most uh, tagarean uh, diaspora community 
uh, influential uh, people are of this view that this was uh, a deal of capitulation which was signed by TPLF around 48 hours ago in South Africa. That is why people were waiting. Let's wait and see what uh, TPLF says after return from South Africa. So now Tegarai government, TPLF, they are the same, uh, has released a statement. The statement is definitely about peace agreement signed in South Africa. The statement uses some strong words. I won't say it's hate speech. The two parties have agreed in the uh, peace agreement that there will be no hate speech. The two parties will not issue any provocative statements. This statement by Tegarai Regional Government's uh, Public Relations Bureau uses words like genocide. That invading forces wanted to commit genocide of Tigrayans. Tigrayans were facing existential threat that atrocities, injustices were committed against the people of Tigray. That uh, invading forces committed destruction in Tigray. This statement uses strong language. Why? Because the statement is addressing Tigrayans, Tigrayan diaspora, Tigrayan opposition parties. So that is why the statement had to use uh, these strong words because already people are questioning TPLF. The statement mentions a peace agreement that uh, it was uh, Tigray government's uh, wish, but its desire, its objective uh, since November 2020 to bring about peace in Tigray, uh, but uh, its efforts did not succeed, but talks were held in South Africa and there the parties agreed to respect constitution and constitutional order. Focus of this statement is on these two words, that uh, TPLF has agreed to uphold constitution and constitutional order and that is what TPLF was struggling for and constitution obviously allows uh, the regional state to exercise article 39 of self-determination uh, and uh, the statement mentions some points which have been agreed by the parties in South Africa points like uh, withdrawal of forces, cessation of hostilities, unfettered humanitarian access to Tigray. Uh, I don't know if uh, there is a mention of withdrawal of forces in the agreement. I did not see a mention of uh, withdrawal of forces, uh, withdrawal of Erati or Amhara forces in the agreement. There could be indirect mention, no direct mention of withdrawal of forces. Maybe uh, some points related to restoration of constitutional order in Tigray imply that uh, uh, forces will withdraw. Otherwise, uh, ENDF is there to stay in Tigray. It is mentioned in the statement that Ethiopian National Defense Force will enter Makele. It has been agreed by the TPLF. And TPLF says, Tigray government says that uh, withdrawal of forces uh, is uh, part of this agreement. Withdrawal of ENDF is not part of this agreement. ENDF will stay in, in Tigray. And secondly, no mention of the most important point about which questions are being raised. Disarmament of Tigray fighters. This statement does not mention anything about disarmament. What will happen? Will Tigray forces be disarmed? How? When? Yes or no? No mention. That is why uh, the statement will not satisfy the people of Tigray, Tigrayans abroad. It will lead to further ambiguity. No clarity. TPLF should have come up with a clear stance about disarming of Tigray fighters. Has it agreed? How will it be done? 
how will the people of Tigray be protected after disarming of uh, Tigray uh, fighters? No mention. So, I personally think this statement will lead to further questions. People in Tigray, outside Tigray, they'll ask more questions. That uh, you did not say anything about disarming. What is government's position? TPLF's position on disarming. I think TPLF is going to face lots of criticism abroad. The Tigray and Aspara will announce some, uh, it will make decisions in coming days. Uh, TPLF has secured its political survival. Uh, it is not acknowledging that Tigray fighters are going to be disarmed. Uh, it should try to take Tigray and Aspara on board. It should brief them what it has agreed, though uh, agreement has been made public. It's very clear that Tigray fighters are going to be disarmed. Why is uh, TPLF reluctant to admit what it has agreed in South Africa? It should practice transparency, which it did not in some cases in the past in Tigray. Now it will have to uh, be transparent. It should tell the people of Tigray and Tigrayans abroad the reality, the real picture, the things which have been agreed by TPLF in South Africa. Thank you for watching.